Almost six years on, the new Imani program has finally delivered on its promise of higher levels of education for its trainees in the form of bachelor degrees from St. George's University. The program, which was first mandated to be only a two-year stint, has continued on. And during the 2019 graduation at SGU on Saturday, 11 Imani trainees were among the graduates receiving their degrees. One of the trainees, Tara Nicholas, elaborates on her experience while applying for SGU. Luckily, I was selected, and thank God, the little funds I saved while on job training assisted me to cover only half of the tuition for the semester, not knowing where the other will came from. Prior to the commencement of my bachelor program, I wrote a resignation letter to the money explaining my decision. I was later contacted and a meeting was held informing me that I will not be removed from the program and they will continue to provide the stipend since I indicated that I'm going to pursue my studies. With that being said, I was able to pay off the outstanding balance of my tuition. Permanent Secretary with Responsibility for Youth on Norman Gilbert highlights that 21 trainees are expected to graduate this year from SGU and a number of universities around the world. As a department, of course, or interest in the first instance to ensure that these persons are engaged meaningfully and we are going to be having some discussion at the management level in terms of where we are going to go with them um, but that will be in a very short not too distant future but of course uh, I know that there are companies uh, around the island that is very interested in the resource that we now have around the table and they may also have opportunities in private and public um, en entities. But as a ministry, yeah, we are going to see how we can facilitate something for them in terms of their future engagement. But we have not yet had that discussion. Gilbert says 84 trainees had signed up for the scholarship engagement and all are expected to graduate by 2022. Minister for Youth Development, Kate Lewis, while impressing on her elation for the graduates, urge other trainees to seek out opportunities for self-development. Because what you are seeing here, our investment in the young people of this country is a worthwhile investment. And the government of Grenada will continue to invest in the future of our young people. Because we believe that no investment is ever too much. Because the young people of our country, they are the future. And we have to ensure that they are properly equipped to take up the job opportunities that are out there waiting for them. I am happy um, that the Imani program continues to speak volumes in the lives of our young people. It's a wonderful opportunity. The program is dynamic. I am Gerald Joseph for GBN News.